Right now, I'm sitting in the middle of the Walmart parking lot and I just bought my 11 year old daughter a burner phone. Now, first, let me explain how you do it, how easy it is, but also why in the world I bought my 11 year old daughter a burner phone. First, I'm recording this video in January of 2024. So sometimes people tell me, oh, you can't buy burner phones anymore. You can do that in the past. You can do that back in the day. That's all nonsense. So first, I'll tell you why I'm getting my 11 year old daughter a burner phone. One, it's not so she's gonna have a phone. She goes to school with kids whose parents let them have phones, which I think is absolute nonsense. She's 11 year old. 11 year olds do not need a phone to carry around in their backpack to carry around all the time. When she gets 16, yeah, if she's driving, we'll get her a phone. Again, it'll be a phone we control, but no, she's not getting a permanent phone where she can walk around with. The reason she's getting a burner phone is because I'm gonna be out of town, my wife has to be somewhere, so she's gonna be alone for like an hour or some short period of time. And because she's gonna be alone for a short period of time, then I obviously want her to have, her fo have a phone. Now, usually I give her one of my phones. So I use a flip phone right here. If I'm around in my office or whatever, because I have multiple phones, I'll give her one of my phones. That way, if there's an emergency, she can call us. But since I'm gonna be out of town, I need all my phones with me, so I had to get her a phone that she could have. Now, when it comes to buying burner phones, here's how you do it. Here's how ridiculously simple it is to get one of these phones. First, go to some place like Target or Walmart. I'm sitting in the Walmart parking lot. I went to Walmart. You go to their electronics aisle. And you find a track phone. I'm gonna show you the box of the phone right here that I just bought. Right here, track phone. You get one of these track phones, then you get minutes. You can obviously pick how many minutes you want, right? So you get the minutes card, then you get the track phone box. This is a flip phone I got her, because remember, I'm only using this for this time she's gonna be alone for emergency purposes. It's not a phone she's gonna carry around. And actually, the phone I got her is nicer than my flip phone that I just threw in my pocket. So she's getting a better flip phone than I have. So I got this, it was $19.95. I bought a short time of minutes just because she's only using it for that one day. And that also cost me $19.95. After tax, the amount I spent on her burner phone plus minutes was $43. But because I wanna do it the right way, because I have a lot of clients who are escaping abusive spouses, they're escaping bad relationships, they really want a burner phone that nobody knows about. I did it the way I teach my clients and the way I always do it when I get my own burner phone for my very high-end clients. Go to Walmart, go to the electronics aisle, you take off this box, you take off the minutes. You walk up to the counter and you say, I need to pay for this and I need somebody to activate it here for me. So you will pay for it. Like I just said, mine was $43. Because you want it to be a true burner phone, don't use your credit card, you are gonna pay cash for it. So I gave them 50 bucks in cash, they gave me my change. And then I reiterate again, uh, can I please have somebody activate this for me? Because they're gonna tell you, they're not gonna wanna do their job. They're gonna tell you, oh, you know, you can just go online and activate it. Just go set up an account and activate it. That requires your personal information. Do not do it that way. So in my case, after I said, hey, I would like somebody to activate this for me, the woman who's helping me said, oh, Julie, or whatever her real name is. Oh, Julie's the person that activates the track phones. She'll be right with you. So I waited around, Julie came. I looked at the clock when she started. She opens the box, she takes it out. She calls, does everything. It was six minutes from start to finish of when she activated the phone. So, let me see, let me get the real phone that my that I threw back in here, daughter has. So, this is the new flip phone. This is my old one, this is the one that I actually use, and this is the, the new one that I got my daughter, the new track phone. So, six minutes, start to finish, she gave me this phone, it works. When they are activating this phone, they will say, hey, what area code do you live in, or what area code do you wanna use? I live in Utah, but I grew up in Northern Virginia, area code 703, so I said, oh, I want a 703 area code for this. So they put in 703 and then it generates the number, however track phone does it, and so 703 area code. If you are doing this for pure privacy purposes, purposes excuse me, escaping an abusive spouse, you absolutely do, wanna, do not wanna use the area code of where you live in. So if you're gonna go buy this track phone at Walmart, have an area code in your head, pick random place, pick Florida, Wyoming, Michigan, just pick some state, some area code that you want them to use. And that is how easy it is and how quickly you can get a burner phone off the books, not attached to your credit card. Nobody knows that you have it.
because they don't ask for any personal information. When she's activating this for me, the only question she asked me is what area code did I want to use for this? 703. She didn't ask me for my name. She didn't ask me for an email address. Uh, sometimes they ask you if you have an email you want associated. Always say no if they ask you, but in this case, she didn't ask me anything. And six minutes later, I had my phone. My daughter's gonna be good to go for that time alone if there's an emergency. Then of course, if I want to, I can more, buy more minutes for this phone. So don't let anybody tell you you can't buy a burner phone these days and that it's hard to do. I was in and out of Walmart in 20 minutes, probably would have been less than that, but I got some munchies also. Munchies, that makes me sound like I'm some, some drug dealer, drug whatever. I got some snacks, I'll put it that way. But then again, I am using burner phones, makes me sound like a drug dealer. If you have any questions about burner phones, let me know. And don't get your kids phones unless they really need them. Don't get an 11 year old a phone for real. She will have this, make sure I got the right one, not mine. She will have this for the one day she needs it. And then if she has to be alone again, but no, she will not carry, carry this around with her all the time. Okay, I think that's it. Have a wonderful rest of the day.